Steve doing a recording of the of Steve's uh, replicated uh, HHO cell 118 plates. And I'm going to be kind of quick. I did this once and I upload is limited to 200 megs. So we're going to go through this pretty quick. Uh, real quick review of the system. Here's the two tanks that hold the water and the electrolyte, potassium hydroxide. Basically, I used uh, 15 liters of water and 72 grams of potassium hydroxide uh, measured on a scale. Here's the top. You can see the caps up there and a little manifold I built. All three quarter inch fittings, about an eight inch riser tube uh, to keep water from percolating out with the gas. Three quarter inch tube down into a makeshift bubbler I just put together with what I had laying around the warehouse. Here's the cell, got 10 gauge wire all the way through, 3 quarter inch tubing. Okay, and here's the, here's the power meters, here's volts, I just had this on so there's probably a little residual in the cell somewhere, you see DC volts, and here's amps on an amp probe, here's the power box. Go through it real quick. There's, see the two, two rectifiers. One, two. There's a bus bar up front with a split in the middle. Okay. Power light, power leads in here and here. 30 amp breaker. There's one 4700 microfarad 450 volt capacitor with a little bleed resistor on top without which uh, I was having trouble getting this thing to turn on without throwing the breakers from a transient. 10 gauge wires coming off of it and into the box positive to the positive side, negative to the negative side here's the wires coming in from the cell again positive to positive, negative to negative alrighty, I'm going to close the lid here Keep get some water splashing There we go. There's 220 wall current coming in. Steve used a portable generator. And we'll give this thing a crank. Turn the switch on. And here it goes. Instantaneous. Probably again. Here's the gas coming up the pipes through the tubing. And here's the bubbling. Unbelievable bubbly. Here's the power. 337 and a half volts. And what do we got here? About eight, a little over 18 amps. And there it goes. There's the 118 plate cell. A little bit different than Steve's. Uh, a little bit bigger openings in the plates, 5 eighths in these as opposed to uh, 3 eighths in Steve's. Also larger tubing so the gas can move out quicker. And since I don't know how much 200 megs of data is for the upload on this thing. Cut it short here, bubbling at the top. Some of the water level was down here somewhere. A little warm on the outside of these things, but not very much. Too slightly warm. Wiring is cool. Capacitor is cold. There it is, and I'm going to turn this thing off so I don't run out of space for the upload. We'll let it settle down. And that's it.